Welcome back to Solarix. I have no idea happened, what happened with that turret back there. But uh, I did just find a security card, which must be what I missed before. Um, what is it actually a security card to? Reactor section. Medical bay section. Okay, so yeah, I've already gone to the medical bay. So this is the reactor key card that I was missing. I just need to find my way around here again. Uh, let's see. Oh, I think it's this way. Yeah, here it is. Let's see if I can make this one blow up by touching it. How did I do that? I just, I literally just like bumped into it. I didn't shoot or anything. I don't get it. What if you like throw an object at it? Hold on. Let's wait for this thing to sweep by. Why not? Oh, actually. Oh, I can't pick that up. Nope, that doesn't work. Blow up. Eh. Eh. Are you even meant to be able to blow these things up? Like, how did I do it? They don't seem destructible. Like, this little weird orb thing seems like a weak point, but I've tried shooting it and it doesn't seem to do anything. I don't know. Anyway. Depowered you AI, blah blah blah. It's a strange okay. dog for so long, and now you're mine. Whoa. I extend my gratitude for eliminating the chances of this ship escaping in Syra. As a reward, I have allowed you access to the AI core to see your deceased friend again. Thank you for the gift, I. You sure have an eye for friendship. Yeah, this is... I don't know what the heck this thing is supposed to be, but this is actually really pretty. Alright, gotta make our way back. Are you kidding me? This is the first time I've just realized this. Look, um, look at the border around the crosshair. You can actually see a border around the crosshair. It doesn't even properly feather out at the edges of the image. Are you serious? <sighs> I literally never noticed that before. And now I'm never going to be able to unsee it. Anytime I look at anything bright like this, I'm going to see it. Anyway, you're coming with me. I want to see if I can get you stuck. Here we go. This should be fun. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Goodbye. How you doing, my stretchy friend? Cool, cool. Ooh, let's try this. Perfect. I'm just going to leave him there. Alright, AI core. I think it doesn't give you a lot of leeway on when you can uh, skip past it. Oh, 
wait, isn't this section called Biolabs? Yeah, this this whole section is Biolabs, and then you come into Biolabs, and then there's a door to Biolabs. Does that mean this is not Biolabs? Is this like the pre-Biolabs? I don't understand. Let me just make sure it's not the ambient volume. If I remember right, this doesn't really do anything. Nope, it's not properly linked up to the ambient volume. Or wait, I didn't apply it. Hold on. No, it, it really just isn't properly linked up. Yeah, I believe the uh, sound effect that's... Or the sounds that are overriding the voices, I believe, is filed under sound effects. Which the voices are also filed under sound effects, so they're on the, the same volume. It's disabled. <laughs> what is the point of this room? <gasps> Jesus, I came in here expecting something, but what? It's just a bunch of pipes. Look, those pipes don't even go anywhere. It's okay. Don't think about it. 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 Woohoo! That is very bright. Place synthesized cure here to activate anti-contamination biolabs. Okay. Whoa! Processing failure insufficient. What did, what did that say? You poor misguided fool. There was never any possibility of success. Every effort made by MI to manufacture a cure was thwarted by my own efforts to spite her. There was never any hope from the beginning. You failed, Mr. Terrace. There's nothing you can do. Such a shame. Okay, I guess I'll just quit and uninstall them. It's over. <sighs> so, uh, what am I supposed to do from here? Destroy the eye, download Amy's replacement. Look at the sparklies. Look at them. Why are you running away from the sparklies? Come here. Look at them. What? Stop. Come here. Stop. Yes. Feel it. Power. Stop grabbing my leg.
You are one with the machine now. No, seriously, this is <laughs> this is actually really pretty. Oh god, look at that. I don't I mean it's it's nonsense, like I don't know what it is. It's just like random techno crap, but it's really cool looking. Security card for the I terminal. Ah, oh, sweet. Shall we talk? Meet me in my subsystem. Let's talk. As bad as this game is for the most part, some of the environmental design is actually pretty cool looking. Here, why don't you join your stretchy friend? This is an exposition hallway, isn't it? Or is it a drama hallway? Dramatic build-up hallway? Run from monster hallway? Just a hallway hallway? I guess it's just a hallway hallway. Wait. Did I, I, what? I just broke that? Oh! I've got my pistol out. <laughs> For some, for some reason, I thought I had this thing out. I was like, wait, why did I break it? That's never broken lights before. Durr. Do you not see the poeticism in this? The queen bee has sacrificed herself for a worker. As if you were any more capable of destroying Oh, shit. Ah, wait. Am I invulnerable again? I'm invulnerable again. Once again, I am spontaneously invincible, and I did nothing but start up the game to play it again. Uh, okay. Alright. I'm sorry I can't hear your plot over the side of me being shot off by three turrets! I just had a voice crack that kinda hurt. What are we saying? End the world, doom, disease, what? What is this? I, I, I did a thing. I'm doing a thing, I think. Am I using it? What is this? I don't know. Use stuff. Hey, I'm searching crime. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I can't move. Yeah. Yeah. This 
pistol is horrible. It took like two and a half magazines to kill it. What am I doing? He wants me to kill him. He needs me to, and I want to. I need to. I'll destroy the eye and blind it with its own tools. I can find him in the eye terminal. Okay. Why am I invulnerable again? I don't understand. And who designed this? I, I don't mean like game designer, I mean like who would ever design... Who would ever design anything like this? Like who thought our weird turret helmet things like, we need to super protect this room, so rather than make it so that they have like a 360 laser scan thing so they can see around the room, let's put three of them and make them move around so that somebody could easily exploit their line of sight by moving in between them. Like, out of all the technology invented on this ship, they didn't invent like a 360 laser scan? Okay. Nothing but a mindless worker. So, essentially, I'm a last pick, the uh, the last resort, the uh, the last person Amy wanted to to have helper, to have as her partner, because I'm um, highly imbalanced. I know what you have done. I welcome it. Activate the switch and finish me off. I will take this ship with me. I will destroy it and everyone within it. I think I used it. You're ruining the moment! Stop! Jesus! Fucking turrets. gravity. This looks so bad. Why is this? Why are there like two pieces clipping through each other? Uh, I don't even know if this is a bug or if it's supposed to be like this. Is this supposed to be two pieces of uh, debris or, or what? This doesn't go anywhere, does it? supposed to go. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to reach that. Uh, okay, never mind, I'm fine. Oh, okay, it's got no collision. Alright. 
Bye, cruel world. Oh, is that what you're supposed to do? I mean, the voice was saying kill yourself. What? Does this game have multiple endings? I wish the subtitles were working, because I can't really hear what she's saying. I think she said two minutes left. I guess I'm going to run out of air? I mean, how could I survive in the long term, right? If everything's destroyed. Yeah, I don't know if this game has multiple endings. Uh, I think I'm supposed to die in this section, though, and that's supposed to be the end, I guess. If I wait, do I run out of air? I don't exactly trust Betty to count, because she told me I had 30 seconds before to find her, when in reality it was as much time as it took to get inside of the thing. She thought, like, 3 seconds was 30 seconds, so when she says I have 2 minutes of air left, I don't really trust her. Do I just kill myself and let the credits roll, or...? Um... Hold on, I'm gonna check and see if this game has multiple endings. Well, based on looking around the Steam guides and the Steam forums, it looks like this is the ending. The ending is just that you fall off and... The end. I can turn on and off my flashlight. Even though you can't see it. Okay, well, we can stare at this actually rather beautiful sight. It's peaceful. I wonder how long I can fall for. Oh, that music is... oh god. Staring at stars and listening to kind of spacey, ethereal music like this always really depresses me. Ugh. Now I'm sad. Anyway, so let's just... <laughs> I'm just gonna give a brief summary, I guess. I don't know if this will end up brief, we'll see what happens um, on my thoughts on this game. This game is really, really, really not very good at all, and I'm really disappointed. I actually originally first heard about this game when it actually showed up on Kickstarter quite a while ago. It showed up on Kickstarter, and I'm really into sci-fi horror and stuff like that, so when I saw that there was a sci-fi horror game, I was really excited. And when I saw the stuff they were trying to do with it, trying to make it kind of inspired by things like System Shocky kind of things, with fairly open level designs and lots of different pathways through things and the ability to like hack and things like that, it just sounded really interesting. And I actually backed it on the original Kickstarter. I actually was a backer. But... Unfortunately, the Kickstarter actually failed. And I was really worried about it after that, because, you know, when a Kickstarter for a... Whoa. Oh. Okay. You... You disrespect my... The pacing of my ending. No. No, 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 no. We're gonna do that again. There we go. <laughs> I'll do this as many times as it takes. Um, yeah, when a game fails on Kickstarter, it's always kind of scary to see what actually becomes of it. Because multiple things can happen. Probably the most common is that they don't have the money to make the project, and... You know, if they're going to Kickstarter in the first place, then chances are it's hard for them to find funding through other pathways, which means if the Kickstarter fails, there's a pretty good chance the game just isn't going to happen. Because if they could have gotten funded through some means other than Kickstarter, they probably would have done it. So, I, you know, when it failed, I wasn't expecting it to actually ever be finished, and I was kind of sad. I thought, oh, this is an interesting game that could have been something interesting to play, but it failed, and maybe I'll never see from it again. So when I did hear from it again, I was actually pretty excited. I was like, whoa, that had a failed Kickstarter. I'm actually surprised it's coming back. I hope it turned out as well as uh, I was thinking it might be able to turn out. And that was my thoughts to this game going into it. 
I backed it, I wanted it to be good, it failed, but hopefully they were able to somehow keep working on it and make something good. Unfortunately, the uh, grim reality is that they didn't. This game really is not very good at all, unfortunately. Um, there's very little about it I actually like. There's really not that much I can say that I like. There's a couple of audio logs that are pretty cool. Very rarely it's kind of atmospheric, but there's so much jank and it feels so unfinished that it's extremely hard to get immersed in the world and the story at all. Ah, whatever, I'm not gonna start it again. Yeah, it's just, it's so janky, it just straight up, it feels unfinished. Even though it's been out, it's not an early access, it's been fully released for months and has had multiple patches applied to it, it still feels honestly like a beta, maybe an alpha, it just feels like it's early access, it is, it does not feel done. Everything about it's janky. From enemies, from the enemy AI, to the enemy pathfinding, to the animations, to the way enemies get stuck in walls and stuff and you grab them, to the way the weapons don't fire properly and the movement's weird, and the audio mixing is terrible and doesn't even obey the volume sliders properly, and a million other things. It just, and all those horrible, horrible game stopping and weird bugs that I encountered. The, the medkit bug, the random invulnerability bug, which I encountered twice now. Like, it's so incredibly buggy and janky in, like, every possible way. Anytime I ever got immersed in it, like, I think when I was most immersed was maybe... Maybe early on, but then kind of later in the game was when I read the, uh, the timeline audio... Or not audio log, the timeline, uh, text log. Reading through all the events that happened. That kind of re-immersed me, but then, like, within minutes after that, there's so much jank that I'm just, like, torn out of the whole game again. It's just, it's impossible... To get immersed and really care about much of anything that's happening because of just how unfinished and buggy and janky everything feels. My suspension of disbel disbelief got broken like 200 times. <sighs> so sadly that is uh, that is Solarix. It was a promising game that I backed on Kickstarter and I was pretty excited for it and the end result just really unfortunately is not very good. But, it happens. I wish the developers the best. I hope they go on to make better and more interesting games. You know, not every game is, is great. It's not that big of a deal. I'm not angry, just kind of a little bit sad. I hope you got some enjoyment out of watching me play through it. Laughing at the bugs, if, if nothing else. And, uh, thank you for watching.